What is going on YouTube today? We're gonna be building a model rocket, the ESAM 58 Estes model rocket. And I got all my supplies set over right here. So let's get started. Okay. So this model, um, this model rocket is an advanced level right here, and it flies up to 800 feet or 244 meters. Okay, okay so the a little bit about the ESAM 58. So actually, ESAM stands for Evolutionary Surface to Air Missile, but SAM stands for surface to air missile and according to Wikipedia, a link where I got it in the description below, the first known idea for a guided surface to air missile was in 1925 when a beam riding system was proposed whereby a rocket would follow a searchlight beam onto a target. A selenium cell was mounted on the tip of each of the rocket's four tail fins, which the cells facing backwards when one selenium cell was no longer in the light beam, it would be steered into the opposite direction, back into the beam. The first historical mention of a concept and design for surface-to-air missile, in which a drawing was presented, was by inventor Gustav Rasmus in 1931, who proposed a design that would home in on the sound of an aircraft's engine. So, um, in the video, when I was building the rocket, um, as you can see the cone, it took me a while to get actually broken because the, my X-Acto knife didn't really cut into it so I had to get some help from my dad to, um, because he had like a special knife that cuts it easier. And um, the rig that I'm using, this is called the guillotine rig. It's used for model rockets so that the fins are aligned. This actually really helped me with my model rocket because usually I just have to like hold it with my hands in the position until it dries. And also it made it so that the fins were not, um, were not angled and made it really straight. So that helped a lot. And it was actually my first time using this. And um, so, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and so those, the fins that I'm um, using the sandpaper on right now, those are the back fins. And uh, right now in the video, I'm trying to get used to using the guillotine machine because I don't really know where and how it works. But um, this this one, this rocket, um, kind of showed me how it works, and it, it was really um, fun to make. On um, right now, I'm preparing the second group of fins while the the second fin is drying and um, th these ones were a bit easier to do because I used the exacto knife to um, to cut the fins out of the wood because uh, with the smaller fins I just popped them out and they and the wood was just sticking out and it was really hard to sand it down and also the wood was very um, very flimsy so that was hard and while the wings are drying I'm also um, preparing the parachute system by um, putting in the um, by putting in the sh the shock cord and the cone yeah right now when I was putting in the cone, I was kind of afraid that the you know, I like moved the rocket tube a bit, so I decided to wait a bit until actually putting it on. And my dad actually came down to see how I was doing, and he noticed that one of my fins were misaligned. And good thing he saw that, or else it would be like really bad. So I fixed that really quickly. Um, this whole project so far took me three days and I'm gonna release a part two soon of me um, using the decals and showing you the final result so be sure to stick around for that 
so right now I'm just waiting for all the fins to dry. There in this rocket there's eight fins. So it took me quite a while since like every three hours I did a new fin. And um at the end right here, you don't really see me put on the rest of the fins because I did it really late at night and I didn't record it. So here's the final result. Now, it's time to put the spray paint on and the decals. Let's do this. <laughs>